The delivery of medicine is on the cusp of taking a giant leap forward. Ever since the human genome was sequenced, the promise of personalized medicine seemed possible, but unreachable. A UBC research project supported by the BC Pharmacy Association and Genome BC is underway, and it will help make personalized medicine a reality. The research will show that DNA can be used to ensure patients get the right medications in the right amount at the right time. And so we're very excited about this project because that's going to be an interplay between the physician, the patient, and the pharmacist. To go from talking about the idea of personalized medicine as part of this project can become a reality. Getting from concept to daily use is the focus of an 18-month study headed by Corey Nislo and his team at UBC's School of Pharmaceutical Sciences. We're focusing on the mechanics of getting your genome from a pharmacy, bringing it into the lab, and decoding it with a high enough accuracy and in a fast enough time frame that you could actually benefit from that information. Getting DNA from here to the lab and back to the clinician happens when patients, pharmacists, sequencers and healthcare providers all work together. By centering the information provider in the pharmacy with the pharmacist, we're going to provide a level of continuity of care that you can't get from a specialist. The pharmacist, the community pharmacist, is kind of a perfect interface to actually be able to start working with and being able to develop standard operating procedures for this technology. So that's exactly what we're doing with this pilot project. We're working through the protocols to ensure the proper handling of patient information, the ensuring the integrity of the DNA sample as it's transported from the pharmacy to the UBC lab, and ensuring that we can do this on a province-wide basis. The process is a natural extension of the services pharmacists provide. A patient visiting a pharmacy to fill a prescription is asked if they would be willing to participate in the pharmacogenomics pilot project. They are provided with information that guides them through the process. Working with the pharmacist, they address issues such as patient confidentiality, the aims of the project, and how they can participate. The patient is asked to provide a saliva sample, which is stabilized and then sent to the School of Pharmaceutical Sciences at UBC. Once the sample in its saliva container arrives here, the barcode is recorded. The saliva sample is um, reduced to the cellular component. So we, we take the cells out of the saliva. We, using very traditional molecular biology, we extract the DNA from those cells. That DNA then, which is fairly a, a, a tangle of fairly long molecules, we need to chop it up into manageable pieces. And for your genome or anyone's genome, we're talking about several hundred bite-sized pieces of DNA. And now we're entering a time when we can start to use modern technology, genomic technology, to actually determine what is the right drug for a patient, what dose to give them, and when to give it to them. We know now somewhere around 160 to 200 medications average, again, day-to-day -day medications, um, are impacted by an individual's DNA. So just think about being able to find out about whether or not a medication is going to work for you and how much of that medication that you need. So it's really about personalizing that medication for you. While the long-term objective is to deliver personal care to each and every patient, the objectives of this project are to Establish baseline procedures for acquisition and transportation of samples. Confirm the efficacy of genomic testing for medication dosing purposes in a healthcare setting. Create a continuum of care that includes patient, physician, and pharmacist. And so safety and efficacy um, are two of the things that we hope will come out of this particular study. It's, it's really taking one small but very important step of empowering 
a healthcare provider to educate the consumer as to what personalized medicine means and how working together they can use that information. You know, what you're really looking at then is, a, is kind of, you know, a perfect triage where, where you're able to bring together all the groups that are necessary. And ultimately, when the data comes out of this, what we're going to be able to do is bring those groups together. And I think what we're going to have is a much better delivery mechanism. For more information, please contact the BC Pharmacy Association.